In Dewsbury, Yorkshire, there's a garden clock with a dial in crazy paving and figures in growing moss. It's controlled by the master clock in the house. Mr. Brown, who made it, also made this umbrella frame out of eight ordinary pins. It has 24 joints and, as you can see, it definitely folds and opens. When they fit a cover to it, it should be useful for keeping the spots out of your eyes when you eat grapefruit. And here's another of Mr. Brown's models. A complete electric fan, no bigger than a penny. On one and a half volts, the motor runs at a thousand revolutions to the minute. And here's an even smaller one. Mr. Brown may be clever, but he couldn't make this. A white porcupine with pink eyes. Carol Stryker of the New York Zoo shows you the only way to handle this woodland pincushion. And just look at those quills. But uh, Porky is busy with a carrot and can't be annoyed. Come on, let's have a close up. That's better. Oh, must you be going? Well, if you must, I suppose you must. And that's the end of the tale. And this is the start of a race which gives a great deal of fun to a crowd of New York fathers and mothers. They're getting ready for the start, they're off. And what are they doing? Well, the idea is this. Father's got to run 50 paces, take the baby from mother, and put its nappy on in record time. And mind you, if baby squeals or gets pinned to the table, pa's disqualified. The race is fast and furious. Here's a real expert, and he looks like being the winner. Yes, he is. Father looks proud, but baby says, I wonder whether it was all worth it.